Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the Beanbag Boys podcast. And today we have uh, Danny from the Kooks, which he is the person that does everything for them. And say hello, Danny. What's up? <laughs> I am also here. Hello. With co host Tornado Stormer, as usual. Yep. Um, I do very appreciate you joining. Thank you again. I do You're feel welcome. bad for uh, spamming you. I actually feel sorry about that. <laughs> uh, it's uh, that you're nothing compared to some people. Really? Yeah. I I, I have a lot of people that spam me as well. I don't. On okay. The, when I'm about to play a game. What type of spam do you get? Like just like fans or just people that you're friends with? Or uh, well, um, it's it's not like I guess it, I wouldn't say like it's that bad. Like I don't get spam, but like. Compared to you, like some people just like message me like on a regular day and just say like hey or like hi. It's just like it's not spamming, but it's just like they do it often. So that's why I'm like, I'm gonna I, do, it, do it. Do it. It's not I'm not complaining. I, I enjoy talking to people, but yeah, it's not it's like just, every spamming second. Yeah. I've had but someone do you guys know uh, know about that uh there's that what is it like a computer program where you can have it uh, set to send the same message like so many times oh my gosh that's annoying on so, youtube i see somebody that. somebody did that to me fifteen thousand times jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> um, yes so i know the feeling that that is true i've had the, just spam on ps4 usually yeah because you have a youtube channel that I, it's not really that big but um i want to get... saw your messages hk <laughs> I want to get started by asking, where are you from? Like the general area, where are you from? Um, so I grew up in, uh, well, I was born in Pittsburgh. I've lived here my entire life. So. Oh, you're not that far from me. Where are you? Uh, I'm down south. Okay. Uh, but it's not that long of a drive to Pittsburgh from where I live. I live in the most boring state, okay? I live in Ohio. All right, Ohio, <laughs> calm down. Oh, well, that's really close to me. Really? Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah, it is really close. Um, How old are you? And I know these are kind of weird questions. I, <laughs> yeah, I just turned 18 in August. So you're a senior wow. or you're just starting college? I'm a senior in high school. Nice, nice. I'm I'm a junior I, this I year, so... 19. Not gonna lie, when I first heard your voice, I thought you were 19 years old, about to turn 20. Um, what made you decide to start a YouTube channel, and just why did you start YouTube in general? Um, so I I've, I've been doing like YouTube, uh, not like YouTube, but I've been making videos mm -hmm. like my entire life, uh. Since I was young, like I, I when I first uh, just got like my family got like a Mac, uh, which we still have, and it came with like iMovie, and oh, I, I watched like I, I always watched like PewDiePie, like, he was like my favorite. Watch people like Dude Perfect, like I think every little kid watched Dude Perfect For at one real, point. Though. I watched them <laughs> right when, yeah. when I was younger. <laughs> I, I'm, I was a kid that went to PewDiePie to Jack. To mostly Markiplier, so <laughs> I, I mostly grew up on Markiplier. That Markiplier instead of the other two. I did watch a few of the PewDiePie videos back when he made like horror game content. But besides that, I stopped watching them after when he started doing the flogging thing. Yeah, that's where French everyone. What stopped. what just made you start just recording in general though? Like, did you like, um, just pick it up and like, oh, let's make videos? <laughs> well, um, I used to be friends with, uh, I, I used to be close with a lot of my neighbors. Uh, mm -hmm. And I don't know, like, we would just make like these like weird, like funny videos and I would like enjoy filming them. I would do it on my iPad too. And I just like, I don't know, I just like grew up enjoying doing enjoying that. Like, I always wanted to be like a, creative like a gaming YouTuber. Yeah. Like, I wanted to do that. Uh, but then I was like, "This is fun, like making i'm like i movies, and I also um like I would use uh, iMovie again on my my iPad, and I would like just make it like at sleepovers, 
uh, with my friends too. So that was just, I don't know. It was just fun to me for some reason. Like I just yeah, yeah. like the idea of being a YouTuber. Uh, I don't know. It just, it was just a, a cool concept back then. And it still is today. Yeah. For real. I kind of wish I could have started earlier, but like, I remember how hard it was just to start it. Like you had to like go deep in the settings. I remember that's how I started. Like there, like no one knew how to start it. Only like the professionals did, and you had to go deep in the settings. I remember doing that, and that's how I started. But like, uh, when I first started, I kind of just had like a little bit. Like I did like little short films, but I didn't. They didn't yeah. really blow up, and yeah, I did. Um, as I guess like short films too. But I always like had my uh like my personal account. It's like under my name. Mm -hmm. Uh. And I would just like remember like two years in a row, like on my birthday, and everyone that was at like at my party, we just like made like a video. Yeah. Uh, so it was just like I don't know. It was like a short film. Like it was called like it was like called like Rockmaster Three Thousand. Like it was just like funny and just something funny posted on YouTube. Do. Yeah, and it, I don't know. Like I just enjoyed like directing and filming and thinking the idea and editing it. I don't know. It was just, just fun. Yeah. See, I made like little short film series called Memories, which was like little mini lessons. So like the first one was don't play with fireworks. And the second one was don't play with knives. And I was going to make a third one, which never happened because I got older. Because I used to do them like every like three years or something like that. And the well, the third one I was going to do don't ding dong ditch. And that one was just kind of hard to do in general. Yeah. yeah, it's a big part of like being a YouTuber is just you can't stop. Exactly. You, you look at any YouTuber and you think, even if you like take like say PewDiePie, like hundred whatever million, <laughs> million subscribers, subscribers yeah. and you think, man, he's been on top of the world for the longest time, and then you look, and it, he's been making videos for like fifteen years. Like exactly. those first five years, he was worthless. So exactly, that's the hardest part for sure um ever since uh i i've been watching your channel for a little while i don't know if you've seen me in the comment comments once in a while but um what uh would you technically put your channel in like what category of youtube would you put yourself in um I would just say, like, I could say, like, vlogs, you could say pranks. I don't want to say, like, I'm a prankster. I don't like that title. I see but... that you started a little bit doing that a little bit. Yeah, I just, I started doing that, like, I'm going off topic, but, like, I started doing pranks just because, uh, fun. well, it's that, and it's just, it gets people's attention. Like, For anyone real. can really vlog, and being an 18-year-old, there's not many cool places you can go to and vlog. Like, I can't fly to california and vlog that because i'm mean, 18 you saw tommy g which that was probably the yeah. biggest i've i i never seen like anyone just be like oh i'm just going to fly over across the country just to do a prank i i thought that was really funny i'm not gonna lie yeah I, tommy's he's the man uh <laughs> that, that was cool that was a cool experience tommy a lot <laughs> um a he like i don't know i just like saw him and i was just kind of that was like the first time I ever pranked. Like I, I knew Tommy. Uh, Did you know him like from friendly Balin. person or just online? Uh, just online. Like I, if you know who Balin Levine is, do you know yeah. that? Sounds familiar. Yeah. I, I, I saw him in his videos and I was like, Tommy G, like, I don't know. I was just like, I want to be able to like, I want to interview. Cause I have like my own podcast. I don't Yeah. I, I like, listened to it a couple yeah. of times. Yeah. Hey, I, I'm I'm you slacking on the name sometimes. Dude, don't worry. I've been slacking. I Brent and I were gonna decide to do it like every like maybe like every other week, and then we stopped for three months because nothing was working. Like his internet was off. MW because we started doing M MW. I'm like, this is not working. The internet connection is not doing well. What and that's what made us decide to do a uh, Discord. I'm like, this is a lot easier to record on than MW. And if our internet goes down, you at least have your phone with you to record on, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I've been listening to your podcast. Um, um, sorry if I say I'm a lot. And 
Just trying to think. Um. <laughs> so your spaghetti video, I thought that was really funny. How you gave that guy the bag of spaghetti that had gravel in it when you dropped yeah. it. <laughs> Did he notice yeah. that there was gravel actually in there, or? Um, I don't think so. Like he was. I have actually have a funny story about him. Uh, so. I don't think he even like really looked in the bag. Like I think he just like grazed over it, saw their spaghetti in it, and he almost grabbed it. Um, <laughs> but the funniest part is that we filmed last Saturday. We went down into Pittsburgh again, and we found him again. <laughs> really? Like, we found the exact same guy, and I was like, "Are you the guy that I offered spaghetti to?" And he was like, "Yeah." So that video will be out on Sunday. So yeah, so it's it was funny. It was just funny how. He was so close to eating it, and then I saw him graze over it, and then he's like, no, thank you. I'm like, yeah. did he see the gravel? or? <laughs> yeah, it smelled terrible. It was cold. It was just like in a bag. Like, why would you even consider that? How long the after? The only thing that stopped him was. How long after did you, uh, what, how, I shouldn't say how long after. How long did it take you to um, cook and deliver, like, the first prank when you dropped in from that lady, like, how long was the time span between that? Um, well, we cooked it, and me and Sam, Sam's the yeah. my filmer. Yeah. Uh, we uh, we cooked it, put it in the bag, and we went straight to this area. It's called the Market District. It's like probably like twenty five minutes away from my house. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. Like, it took us a while to find someone. Cause so it was probably already cold at that time too. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I was relatively cold at, at that time that I dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that funny. She's like, you're like, oh no, what should I do? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you just kept She's looking. Like, Pick at it up. <laughs> yeah. Did you <laughs> look it up? I'm just surprised how she didn't notice a camera. I'm like, are you serious? Yeah. He was he was in my car. I if she would have looked, she probably would have seen him. But it's surprising when you do like just filming in public no one sees the camera that's one thing that scares me i'm like if i ever start a vlogging channel like i remember when i did a, like a little bit of vlogs but i quit because it wasn't really it really wasn't like fun the way i did it and because i didn't really drive like you guys drive like you know drive yourself around and all that and it was just yeah. kind of with just my parents so i'm like it's not really fun with just your parents so I'm like, I'll probably do vlogging when I start driving because I just have my permit. I'm kind of slacking a little bit. But like when I start driving and all that, I'll probably start doing vlogs a little bit. But yeah. Stay consistent. That's, that's the sure. biggest part. That's for Don't sure. give up. Because I, um, I upload weekly. I know that. I upload weekly. Either Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. I need either of those days. Depends on how, how long it takes me to edit or how busy I am or not. Um, how do you come up with YouTube ideas? Like with all your videos, how do you come up with the ideas that you come up with? Um, well, I do, I do have a lot saved. Like, I'll just think of them, put them down in my notes and then say it's like the day before we film. We usually film on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. So I'll just like, uh, think of it. I don't know. I like look at my notes or if I just like see something just reminds me like, or if I'm just in public and like, that would be funny if that happened. Exactly. Cause like I got the DoorDash idea because like I do deliver. Yeah, for DoorDash. I, I, it's, I heard about that. <laughs> I, I remember watching it in your, I, I think it was on your podcast when you're talking about your brother, you and your brother. Yeah. Did. Yeah. 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 Like I, I do DoorDash. I was like, I was like, I wonder what would like, what would happen if I like dropped it, in front of someone like what would that reaction be so like just like set it up and then you do it uh yeah to answer the question i just like whatever like i just get like inspiration from things i guess not like inspiration but like just see something happen yeah. i think that would be funny if that happened there. i wasn't sure so. if you saw another vlogger and be like oh that would be cool if i did that or just like th just in the shower just thinking or the way you yeah. think about it it's just really cool how you just go by and be like oh I never ever thought of ideas just be like, what what would happen if I did that? I just never thought yeah. of ideas like that. I I, I don't really. Smart. I try I try not to get ideas from other YouTubers. I don't think I've used an idea from another YouTuber. Like I've done like the same thing. Like if you go through a drive through, obviously, like that's yeah. the same thing. But Dude, that TikTok blew up though. Holy moly! Yeah, that was awesome. 
I remember when you tried to find that one lady and she was just gone. Uh, she actually goes to my high school. So really? You I haven't seen her, her yet. <laughs> I, I, I recognized her, but then like when I went up to the window, I was like, I think I know this girl. <laughs> then like when I posted the TikTok, like some kid like Snapchat at me and he was like, dude, that's that's Sam, like from South Ed. And I'm like, what? Like I thought I like thought I recognized her, and it turns out I, I haven't seen her yet at school, so it's kind of I don't know what happened to her. Unless, <laughs> did you say? I said that's kind of scary that you haven't seen her yet. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I, I'd Maybe like to know. She she, she she deserves to know. She she <laughs> should, just like every, just every single one of your fans just searches down for her, just DMs her. Yeah, because I'm surprised no one's told her yet. Like a lot of people in my high school know about the about the channel so you would think but guess not I, i'm just very surprised how she doesn't know and if she does know she's probably embarrassed i mean i want to be embarrassed to be honest i'd be like holy crap i would, I would be i would say morning, like really i remember when we filmed it we went around the second time like we went back and i remember like we were in the line and sam was like you should tell her just tell her like we're filming and i was just like i'm i'm not gonna tell her like i'm gonna hold it off i'm gonna see like I, like I never like, told her. Back I, I never ended. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, leave. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, I never told her. I, I mean, yeah. hopefully she knows. When you do, I'm f- supportive of her. <laughs> That's true. When you do find her, just tell her right away. Yeah, I'll be like, Sam. Like, <laughs> I know you. Uh, um, I know you from that one TikTok video I made. Uh. Huh. I do have one question. What's the question? Uh, so. Oh, sorry, I was uh, I was moving, but uh, anyways, uh, did uh, who was it? Who was the idea to make the YouTube channel? Was it yours or was it your friend's? Um, it was mine at first. If you go in, like, if you go to the first video, yeah, that's up. Uh, the beginning starts off and it's called Goo Up Vlogs. Yeah, I saw um, that because I was trying to see like what the channel was named before because I saw yeah. it a little bit. And I'm like, that's an interesting name. Yeah. So and uh, so Goo Up was I was in I was in my sophomore year and I started the clothing brand Goo Up, which mm-hmm. I I just planned to like I always want to start a clothing brand too. Mm-hmm. Uh, and like with the merch, I hope as this channel grows, I can like kind of make that mm-hmm. brand too but uh i made the goo up brand and i was like it would be a cool way if i could like somehow gain followers on the clothing account or like uh, for the clothing brand like, through youtube so mm-hmm. i was like i'll make a video and i was just like they that was a sleepover that we had that night and i was like i'll film like i'll see how this turns out and i like enjoyed it so then i made it again and then i didn't make one for a while and then um one day we were just like it was like me jacob and david if you know who those yeah, kids I are. Know who they like, are um here I, we went to like goodwill and then we went to like my old neighborhood they, before i found moved the goose thing that was, no, 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 really that, was that was uh, that was yeah that was the first video and that was like i don't know when that was but i remember like i i remember watching it and you guys had it, showed it for like two seconds and then the next video in the next video just had little bits of it like it was just a little part yeah. of your channel and then i saw yeah. that it got lost did you guys ever get it back at all like today did you guys ever get it back um so the group that did take it uh like i'm good friends with them now yeah I, it's in my room so yeah, yeah that's good i was gonna make a video about it like yeah i saw that I, that was actually one of my questions actually yeah. I, I i i uh saw that um I was listening to your podcast and you said you're going to make a short film about it, like the stolen yeah. goose. And um, you didn't upload it because you uh, said it was just you and you wanted more than just you and an actual crew. And if you did have a crew, enough crew members and cast members and stuff and all plan and all that, would you actually make the short film someday? I would say like in the future, because I plan to make it uh, like I plan to like film it all when I went to see Tommy in Milwaukee and I actually went to Florida like the week before for like my family vacation. 
and who was like going to make it sort of, I went like the goose, like called me, I go to Milwaukee and then mm-hmm. he's like, bring me to Florida. Like I want to die there or something. So it was like, kind of like, like a going away. Like I'm getting rid of like, like letting go of this past. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know. I just didn't want to like bring up like the whole like problem, you know, like yeah. out of respect to like the old guys because I don't know. I didn't want to like upset them because I hope to be friends with them again. I mean, in the future, would you have them as cast members and eventually make it as ever a short film or just no, not at all? Uh, I mean, if the time, I don't know, honestly, we're running out of time because we're all going to go to college soon. But I mean, you guys, if I somehow go to college, so yeah. And during well, college. So, um, I don't know, I guess, shit. Um, I guess if I do um, become friends with them and I don't know, we decide to do it, I guess, I guess so. But I doubt that would happen. Okay. Um, ever since I, so, uh, oh, go uh, Brent. Go ahead. Uh, I was just going to ask, so were like all your friends when you start recording with them, uh, were they all up for it when the, in the first video you made with them or were like some of them skeptical? Um, I don't I don't remember any of them being like skeptical of it. I mean, they're all supportive of it. Like we we're all like I don't know, we we're all excited for what was going to happen. I was set on this channel blowing up and we becoming like we wanted to become if you know what Odd Future is like with Tyler the Creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we wanted to be like that. Like we wanted to get our own TV show. Like that, that we were really set cool. on that. <laughs> that would be um, really cool. Oh my gosh, that, dude, Im- imagine being like, "Oh, I know that guy. He's from He's from our podcast. <laughs> That'd be. Really I good. hope. I hope that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> like in a year, you'll be like, how? Like how? In the how? Hell? On, yeah. I, I hope it goes well for you guys. Cause, like cause I would real. actually like to see that. That would be crazy. Um, talking about your channel blew up. How did you feel? And who told you when you were shouted out by by Mark and Ethan? Um. So I was in my room just like midday and i like we had 84 subscribers like all people i knew yeah and when i got a new subscriber like on the channel i would usually get like an email mm-hmm. like if they were like uh i don't know like usually i would get an email for it or private uh public or not yeah Funny i would going. get an email and um I don't know. I like got an email and I was like, "Oh, we got a new subscriber." Like that's weird. We haven't uploaded in like four months. Yeah, uh, like that's kind of weird. Yeah. And then like I got another email, and like I got two more. So I had like four emails total. And I like went on the YouTube Studio app and I like refreshed it and went from like eighty four to like a hundred and three. And I was like, "What, what is happening?" <laughs> I was like, "What is happening right now?" And like I refreshed it again. It was like one hundred three to one twenty four. And then I refreshed it again. It just like kept going up. And, like on the latest video, like I looked at the comments and it was like Unus Honest. And I was like, what in the world is Unus Honest? It's funny because so I, look- I, I was just like trying to find channels and stuff to watch. And then when they saw that, because I, I literally like watch them every day still to this day. Um, I remember when they saw it, I'm like, I've been wanting YouTubers to watch for like new YouTubers and new stuff fresh. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah. I'm going to check it out. And I thought your content <laughs> was very fresh and new. That's why I, I fell in love with the channel. <laughs> it felt like my own friends just with you guys, to be honest. Yeah, that was what we wanted it to be, just like what we were doing. But how did, how did you feel when you were in that situation, when you just kept going up and up and up? And did any of the like your kooks friends... Uh, call you at all saying hey it's blowing up or you called them um well right when it happened like right when it started started i called justin Mm -hmm. um it's like i think i don't know i don't know if we were like the closest at the time but i called him i was like i was like dude look at the channel or like i might have texted him i was like dude look at the channel and he was like what and then i called him and we're like, dude, like, what is happening? Like, what is Unis Honest? Like, who are Mark and Ethan? Like, I had no idea. Like, when I saw Mark, I thought Markiplier. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's just like, yeah, well, it is Markiplier. Like, Markiplier. But like, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I thought Markiplier. And I was like, there's no way 
that Markiplier has anything to do with this. Like, there's no way. Mm -hmm. Um, and then like I looked in and I was like, holy shit, like this is like this is real, like this is what's happening. I bet you so, were like, shitting like, yourself at that time. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was going nuts and I like went in the group chat, like I told everybody, like went in a group call, and then like I went downstairs and I like told my mom, I was like, Mom, like I don't know how to explain this. Like this doesn't feel real because usually like when someone tells you it's too good to be true, yeah. it's too good to be true. So like that's what I was thinking. I was like, there's no way, like I'm gonna wake You're up. Like it's botted, like, it's botted. <laughs> yeah, like the channel's gonna get deleted or something. Like they're gonna think I'm buying subscribers. Like and I told my mom, I was like, these these guys, like they sh like they watched our video, and I like watched the video, and I was like, oh my god. Like that is the channel. It's scary because it was an accident too. Because they thought they clicked on it and they saw your channel first. So that was the it was the clickbait. Yeah, my, our friend died. That was that's what got. Uh, yeah, Ethan. I uh, I just thought that was really cool. I'm like, wow, that that's really exciting. I'm like, this story has to be out. So I started checking out your stuff, and I'm like, man, hopefully someday I'm going to be with them. So, um. Yeah. I know Are you that be with them. You're not gonna be one of them. <laughs> I will become one of the kooks. <laughs> you'll become one. You'll become one with the kooks. Um, talking about um <laughs> all the members and stuff. What happened to the old members of the kooks, and what made them leave, and where are they now? Um. So I don't like it's a it is a touchy subject just because I, I don't want to like I, I I don't think any of them will listen to them listen to this because I don't know how you don't, they would you see don't this. have to tell them at all if you don't feel like it but you, if you want to just you are free you feel free to if you feel to explain it and tell I'll, the I'll viewers just, you I'll can summarize do. it the best the best way I can okay um right. so when we started uh I don't want to like started blowing up um. I wanted to release merch. I designed the merch, made the website, all that stuff. At the time, like I, I planned to edit it. I planned to make the videos. Like I wrote out all the questions for the Q and A and stuff like that. Like edited all that. Uh, and then I wanted to make merch. Like I thought the the quicker the better. I um, mean, I made merch. Uh, we got all this. Like we got all the sales and stuff. And then like it, it was sort of like we just like just like sort of like I don't know. Like we weren't fr we weren't friends. Like we we didn't talk. Like you'd go in a group like, chat and it would, kind yeah, of it, uh, it, it was like, like a regular friend group. They would hang on a regular daily basis. Well, it was like, it was, it was going like, it was like quarantine was like huge at the time. Like no one could go out, but like no one ever talked in the, in the group chat. And I was just like, what is going on? Like I was still friends with like Jacob and Troy cause we played Warzone like every night. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Then like out of the blue, like, uh, I do remember one time, like, I explained to them, like, what I was doing with the money, like, I'm just, like, saving it, like, keeping on the money. It just became, like, a money thing. Uh, they sent this message, like, in the group chat, like, I think that we deserve to have access to all the accounts because we're in the group and, like, all this stuff. And I was just like, like, n no, like... <laughs> I, I don't want to give access like as much as like I, I trust all of you, like you're friends with me, like backstabbing exists and I can't trust you guys. Like mistakes happen. Exactly. I just didn't want to like, I didn't want to risk anything happening to something that I created. Like I didn't want to, I didn't want anything to happen to goo up vlogs, mm -hmm. you know? So it's understandable. That's very, I told them, I was like, I was like, listen, like guys, like I can't give you the passwords. I can't, I'm sorry. Uh, and I remember, like, one of them saying, like, we're not going to be happy until we get the passwords. Why were they like, upset? You're the one that made it. You're the one that made the channel. You're the one that does everything for them. They're just in the videos. It's just, like, you're doing all the work. It you was deserve like, all the credit. Yeah, and it was, like, even, like, the most recent video, like, the one, like, it happened, I think, like, after we went fishing. Like, some of them weren't even there. Like, it doesn't like they hadn't been in a video in like a year. So like, mm -hmm. yeah, what, what gives them the right to just have the access? Exactly. Then they like wanted to make like a PayPal account. And I was like, guys, like, I'm not going to take the money if that's what you're worried about. So, uh, we didn't talk for like two to three weeks after that. It was quarantine, but still like we didn't plan for videos. We didn't talk about videos. We didn't do shit. 
it felt like it was like one against seven and it was hard. It was mm-hmm. like, it was a rough time. Like I was, I was sad. Like I was Everyone beaten was down. Sad. Yeah. I would it be sad just, too. Your friends would just not talk. Yeah. Just like- I didn't, I didn't really have like anyone at the time, like other than my parents, like it was just like, wake up, like stay inside all day and then go to bed. Like I couldn't make a video. That's and then I was like thinking like, I was just like, if these guys aren't going to worry about videos, like I'll find another group. Like I'll, I have my old friends like that I used to play baseball with and I'm still close with. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm going to try to be close with these guys. Like they're, they've been nice to me. They're really supportive. Like me and my entire life. And the reason I stopped hanging out, I don't want to talk about that, but you you don't have to, you don't have to, no pressure. I I just don't think they're going to like, none of them are going to hear this. There's just no way. Uh, I just, I'll I'll, I'll, keep it simple. I said, I, I didn't hang out with my old friend group, not kooks, like my old, old friend group, yeah. because they started getting into bad decisions, if that makes any sense. Yeah, that makes sense. If you sense. know what I'm talking that, about. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. And then they started outgrowing those bad decisions, and then my group started growing into them. Uh, so it was like, if I'm... If I'm not going to hang out with this old group because they're making bad decisions, it's no better here. Mm-hmm. Now, like, if you know me, like, I, I you probably don't know, like, I probably haven't mentioned this, but like, I have no interest in drinking, smoking, exactly. like, all that vaping stuff. I think it's like I never like held it against stuff is stupid. Like, yeah. what's the point? Like, it's just useless. Yeah, I, I was just like. It's not that like I have anything against them because I'm I like you go to a party like you're gonna see it like I um of that's course. my friends like but I don't know it was just like that's the reason why so I was like why don't I be friends with this old group again so I tried it they're really supportive I was like if they're not gonna talk about like this whole thing like I'll start hanging out with them because mm-hmm. I was told no one's gonna be happy so I figured everyone hated me like I'm not even gonna like try mm-hmm. uh. Then one night, like, we went over to Troy's house, which I was invited to, and I was just like, I can't go there. Like, I'm, I am, this is gonna, that would be very awkward. That would be very uh, awkward, and they will probably yeah. somehow gang up on you, and it wouldn't be a, a fun time. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I, I, I trusted them. Like, I knew they wouldn't, like, try to beat me down, but I didn't want to, like, not, not literally you beat don't me want down. want pressure but, on you. Yeah, like, I didn't want them to say, like, well, How's it? Still haven't got those going? passwords yet. Yeah. So I was just like, I'm just not going to do that. But at the same night, I did get invited to my other friends who happens to live in the same neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I went there and I was like, I'm going here. And I don't know. They didn't really like say anything. Uh, and then I was like, I'm going to, if like, I'm just going to film a video. Like, I'm going to film a video. Like, I need to put a video out. Like it's been like over a month since I put out a video and I don't want to lose all of this because mm-hmm. of just like one some stupid reason. Like I'm going to look back in this in six months and be like, why so didn't stupid. you make a video with the, the other group? Like they, they're the, like they're fine with it. So I was like, I have an idea and just like film it. And I did it. And like, I was talking to my dad about it. I was like, dad, like, do you think this is a good idea? Like, I don't want them to, I don't want to lose my friends. Like I don't want to lose anybody. And he was like, if, if you need to put out a video, like you got to put out a video. So we went and filmed the video and it actually happened like that, that night they had like some sort of party and I wasn't even invited to it. So I was like, well, geez, like they obviously don't care about me. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I put out the video and that was probably like that week that that happened was probably like the hardest week of my life. Uh, I'm sorry. No, it's it's fine. Like it's it's I'm, good I'm to sorry like, talk I, about it. I'm sorry if I I was very scarce because I knew you were very touchy on that. I wasn't sure if I wanted to or not, but I'm like I knew you wanted to talk I mean, about it. I yeah. I was just very nervous because I didn't I didn't want to make you worried or scared or any of that. I just didn't know how it would turn out. I'm, it's fine. I mean, if, you, uh, if you're very uncomfortable for us having it in the podcast, we can. Also, we can cut like, it out if you don't want to have it. it. <laughs> no, I, it's fine. I like talking. Like I, I like getting like stuff out. But I, I also just want to put out there, like I don't have anything against these, these like the old Kooks group. Like mm-hmm. I was friends with them for a long time. Probably like since I went into high school, that's when I started becoming friends friends with them. It's 
it was it was three years of like our friendship and it's like i i i would like to be friends with him again but i'm also not going to pressure myself to get under do that, something like that. but i like i if i missed anything out like and if they do happen to hear this like i i <laughs> i don't hold anything against you and i hope you don't hold it against me i i will but, never hold it against you bro I don't think. Uh, I, I, my and if they have problems with it, is, I'll just be like, yeah. "Don't yeah. pressure Danny. Take it all on me. He he doesn't deserve it." We're yeah. we're the ones that brought him on. We are the ones that we're, asked him this question. Yeah. So so it's on us. Yeah. All right. But yeah, to go back to like the the day that I posted that video, I was that was like that was a was bad like. I would just like I posted the video. It had been so long since I uploaded a video, like another video, that so many people unsubscribed, like four times the amount of our original subscribers, like eighty four. Mm -hmm. That's how many people Jeez. unsubscribed in a day. That's and I was just like, oh my god! You're like, like what can get any worse? Yeah, I was like, first it was that, then I lose all my friends. Now I lose all and my like, fans. It's like serious. Yeah, and then like. I was getting all these comments, like the people were like picking sides and they were going so hard on me and the story was getting twisted. And it was kind of like, Oh my God. Like, and then like the story so, one of their, um, like one of their dad was like, he was the one that was like commenting on the videos. Like he replied to every single Jesus. comment, every single one. And, and said, how many comments were on yeah, that video? I have no idea, but I deleted Jesus. all of his comments. Cause it was just like, not, it was, I'm, I'm, I was 17, like I was 17 at the time, like I'm 18 mm. now, but I was 17. And then he was like a, a grown adult, it's like, like really? just complete, completely like, oh my God, like someone would comment like great video, like something. And he'd be like, uh, like it wasn't a good video. Like, cause Danny didn't tell any of the boy, the boys that he was filming. Like, it's a shame that he's taking all the money in the channel from them. And I, like, it would be like a whole paragraph after every single comment. And I was like, oh my God, like would, this guy is. I would want nothing to do with a person like that. If they did I, that I would, I would just, to be honest, I would definitely oh just turn God. off the comments on that video, to be honest. Oh I yeah, that comment yeah. would have got turned off. <laughs> and I was just like, I'm just going to go through and like delete every single one. And it was just like. That must have been painful deleting all of them. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like that. It was probably like 50. Like, it wasn't that. It wasn't every single one. Like, he didn't have the time. But it was like, it wasn't like he was copying and pasting. Like, he was legitimately like building off of what they said, like, as if it was like some sort of like test it's question. Sad like, that <laughs> and a grown adult would do something to a freaking teenager that he doesn't even know. It's like, really? I just, I just think he got the complete, like, the whole story wrong. Like, I don't think he was filled in. Like I think he just like thought like one day I just woke up and was like, "Fuck, fuck the old guys!" Like I'm filming by myself, and I was no like, "No one ever just thinks that." Not and the if case. you do, something's wrong with you. Yeah. So it was, I don't know. It was just weird. And then I had to take on like the the onslaught, I guess, of uh, what my friends had to say to me, uh, and like what their friends had to say to me, uh. You know, it's just like it would be like days where I would just like I just like wouldn't want to get out of bed. You know, it's yeah. just like why? I guess I mean looking back on it, I was like, I guess like I'm just now realizing, like man, like how did I get through that? Like that sucked. Yeah, I'm just thinking, <laughs> like, trying to process that. I'm like, dude, I would be so depressed. Oh, I wouldn't be like yeah. depressed. I would be just so down for a while. Yeah, oh, bro, I, I don't. I'd be mentally stressed out all day. I wouldn't be like. I don't want to go. I don't want to yeah. wake up. It would be like every day. Like I would just try to like. It would be like every day, once a day. I would think about it and feel bad. How did you? I'd be like, what do you? Do all that, jeez. I, I don't know. It would be like one day, and then like just one day. I was like, I would tell myself, I would be like, Danny, like it'll get better. Like That's you're good. gonna get more subscribers. You're gonna make more videos. Like the experiences will outlast the like bad moments. Like. I just like just Danny, just, just keep pushing. Like you can do this. Uh, and, and then like you just one day and you just one day you just don't think about it anymore, and you're just you know that's the day that you like moved on. And now I haven't probably thought about it until we talked about this for like two months. But... I, I just feel bad bringing it back up because <laughs> no, it's fine. 
So I mean, it, nice. at least you got it all out because it sounds like you had a lot of pent ups. Dude, so, I've I felt um, every attention just felt every stress come out of you when you were talking about that. I just yeah. felt stress <laughs> even hearing about it. I'm like, dude, I would. <laughs> Oh, geez. I want to be able to do that. You're strong, dude. You're very strong. Thank you. Um, you, you, you deserve a lot more than what you have now. Trust me. You deserve a lot more I will, respect. I just hope people, I don't know, it just like Tommy G uh, put out a video and it just blew up. So That's good. I hope That's like something good. like that happens to me. Like he's been, he's been going at it for so long, like four, three or four years, maybe I don't know, three to two years. I don't mm-hmm. know, but it's years. Yeah. I know that. And it's yeah. just like, he just like goes and goes and goes and goes like weekly videos for three years. And then just like, finally he just hits that. And it's like, I don't even know. Like, and he just hit it. And now he got like 400,000 views and he Jeez. got like 10,000 subscribers. So it's like, just waiting for that to happen. So, <laughs> I mean, you're getting there. I, I can see you getting big very, very soon in the next year or two. Let's hope for it. Um, You'll probably be at over 50k. So you know it. <laughs> Trust me, you will. Um, just wakes up next day, just gets like uh, jumps from 28k to PewDiePie. 50K. PewDiePie sees your channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, uh, I really am sorry for bringing that subject back up. I I just feel bad it's bringing fine. that back up. I like talking. I, I think it's good to talk about it. It's fine. Good question. Um. What do you wish you would have known when you started doing YouTube? Um, well, I would say, and like the biggest thing, like no one really like takes it seriously, but you have to, you have to stay consistent. Mm-hmm. That is the biggest thing. You can't post a video every two months. Like, even if you have 50 subscribers, can't feel like an idiot for wanting to do weekly videos like even if you get 15 views like because then now next week you'll you'll get 30 views like and it's just like you have to stay consistent another thing is uh, uh tommy g really like helped me learn these things but That's good. another thing That's is really if good. you film in public it, people don't notice like as much as you think like people aren't going to notice you another thing that i would like if i were to tell my like my younger self would be don't care about what people think of you that's a huge thing like i know everyone says that but you got to take that serious like don't don't care what people think of you like if you're filming in public and someone's pointing a camera at you like people are going to look but you just can't care so mm-hmm. i'd say that's what i wish you know yeah, that's that's really good advice to be honest i mean I've I've actually struggled because I had uh, a short film channel before I did video games and now a podcast. Um, I got made fun of all the time at school. Yeah. They'll be like, "Oh, I can ma- I can make a channel today and get a million subs by tomorrow." I'll be like, "Yeah." It's usually like the kids that don't do it are the kids that say that they could do it. Yeah, it's just. It's really also when annoying. you're younger, like once you get to your point where like you're like, sixteen, seventeen and beyond it's suddenly i don't know why just, just but it's saying, suddenly you just have like, a channel is like a really good thing when you hit high yeah school. It's, it's suddenly like really just like weird. turns from oh you're a loser like you make youtube videos to dude that's actually really cool what's it called yeah like, exactly so i don't know like uh, it's cool because i remember my brother who's in college now like uh i remember like uh one of his friends like started a clothing brand like I don't, he might have even been in another college. And I remember when I had my clothing brand, like people would be like, "Oh, that's kind of weird," you know. Mm-hmm. But then, like when he started, he was like, "Yeah, people love it here. Like it's so cool. Like if you're in college and you started your clothing brand, like people love it." I'm like, "Really? Like people make fun of it? Like they think it's weird?" But that's how I learned. So <laughs> that, that, yeah. Um, what's your favorite video slash project you've done for YouTube? Um favorite video i guess the uh the 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 cringy answer would be the next one but (laughs) uh i guess my favorite one is probably going to like see tommy i was about to say seeing tommy probably the the outcome of the video probably wasn't like my favorite but like 
you had a great whole, experience. Yeah. The whole like filming, learning, just being with Tommy, like meeting him. And that was, that was really cool. It was good for I, you and good for others that know him too. Yeah, for sure. It is good outcome now since he's blowing up. Like I'm starting to get subscribers like from his channel, which mm -hmm. is kind of cool. But that's really cool. Uh, I would say that like my I gotta, I gotta look back at right look back right now, but I would say that my favorite video I've ever done, if this ever loads, is is this not loading? <laughs> I would say like what the outcome of the video. Like, would you want that answer? Just anything, yeah. anything. Um, this really isn't loading. I just got to think off the top of my head. But there it is. Um, I don't know. Those old vlogs were just like what we did in our regular <clears throat> days. So there's like nothing special about that. Um, I don't know. I guess my favorite video would be. Oh, come on, the video. I don't even know. Maybe the spaghetti one. I, I really, I like that one. But yeah. It looked like you guys had that. a lot of fun during the going back to school shopping at uh, uh that one place I forget what it's called. Well, yeah, Goodville, yeah, that was fun. I I could I tell wish I would have done that better. I could have I could have I don't know. Like I I I will always hold my like, I will always say to myself like you could have done better there. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, of like, course, I could have obviously be like, done better. Uh, like I yeah yeah I I'm I'm kind of mad at myself how that one like turned out because I could have I could have like worn that outfit more but bought it for god's sake but yeah yeah it was, it was still fun though i like hanging out with like tristan yeah and sam like that i was about to say tristan was one of your old kooks members that stayed with you i knew that yeah he wasn't really in kooks like mm -hmm. he was in like, like the group that i'm in now yeah like he was more in that like he we he would never come to whatever we planned like he would just like go in the group chat read the message leave you know mm -hmm. like stuff like that so i knew like when all this happened guys now it seemed like you two just really good yeah right we, we going into high school like in my sophomore year like he was a, we were like really tight because like uh we Probably like the last talk. same classes together uh well we we actually went on like double dates a lot like with <laughs> oh, these, I, these with two ex, girls yeah. like it's it's sort of our thing mm -hmm. like we've done it with like probably like three groups of two girls like <laughs> like <laughs> i don't want to sound like you guys set it up or is it you <laughs> we, we actually flip-flop so like so, he so started like, it <laughs> then i do it he so would now, start it and then you would do it oh, yeah so God. he started it and then i gave him someone and then he gave me someone then now we're back to me, so I'm up now. <laughs> You're right. And we're both single. We're both single right now, so I guess. Yeah, I, I was gonna. I felt so bad for Tristan. I saw that. I I really. I'm not <laughs> he, gonna lie. I, I will. Well, don't I, feel bad. Don't feel bad. Like as much as like I might have portrayed it like he got his heart shattered. He he should have known. Week he started talking to her, he knew what he was in for. And How he just strong stayed were there. they in the first place? Like, did they hang out every day or? Oh, they. They hung out every day. I was about to like, say he was such day. a big simp. I know it would be like we would plan stuff. We'd be like, "Is Tris coming?" And then we like look on the like the Snapchat map, <laughs> and he'd be like at her house, and we'd be like, "Oh my god!" Like he was just there last night, so and he would funny. hang out with her from like from like four or five till like twelve or Jesus like one p one a.m. I would, would be, be bored like, all day. <laughs> Like we we calculated it was like he hung out with her like sixteen or seventeen out of like twenty two days. Jesus like, Christ! Dang, she would go everywhere. Like she go to her ba go to his baseball games. Like I don't know, it was it was Such it was crazy. But scene. I was glad to see. I was actually glad to see them break up because I knew that she was like she was nice to me. But I just knew like it wouldn't last. And I'm not obviously gonna lie. When you guys uh pranked him, I thought that was pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's what we did. We were like. We went, we walked in on them, and then I was like, "Yeah, I saw that uh, you guys were in the can." Like, yeah, I, like, oh, I need, we need to get him. Like, yeah, I want to like try to. <laughs> I want to, I want to try to like get him like scared. You know, I, I, I was like cool with Olivia because like we went on like the yeah. double date, like I said, mm -hmm. like with one of her friends, and I was just like she was cool to me, and then like, like. I was like, I, met, I like texted her or something. I was like, would you want to help me out with a video? And she was like, yeah, what, what is it? And I was like, 
like okay like here it is like you got a fake cheat on tristan and she was like okay like she was just like in on it i, I like, just felt really? like some like, of that was fake but i knew it wasn't I, yeah it, it, like it just way he walked he didn't walk in all the way he just <laughs> <laughs> oh like that was such, that was fun i gotta say that was a good video i like the way that turned out oh um, yeah <laughs> uh, I, I just thought that was a really funny video how that turned out you're like yeah, hey <laughs> yeah he was like well i'm uh i'm gonna head out and then we're like go 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 because we like ran out the door like tristan he was like i knew like <laughs> yeah it was good that was fun um what was your uh one of your videos that you thought would turn out like the best ever but didn't uh do you mean like that, after i got done shooting or like the results general. like that but you thought would turn out good like but that, didn't that you would think would turn out good but end up flopping uh, mm. uh i guess like the goodwill one well mm. i kind of expected that because i knew i didn't clickbait the title but <laughs> thought maybe if i made it look like an unis honest video they might click on it yeah that would be funny i'm not gonna lie just have an unis honest intro too <laughs> yeah that'd be funny. it just i don't know it just you, kind of flopped you, that's I an didn't idea really expect right that. there just do do something and then just yeah i was thinking about like yeah, maybe i'm that's next video i'm gonna try to get their attention mark and ethan because i want to hold the funeral for unis honest mm -hmm. Guy held the funeral for Goose. So mm -hmm. that was funny. The Goose funeral. That was pretty funny. Yeah, that was that was fun. <laughs> Did you I was actually like you, you yes. go. I was gonna say, um I was like uh we were gonna get like attacked by that other group that stole Goose. Really? Just now my friend group. We well like it was kind of weird because like we planned it like put all this stuff out and we were like there's no way like they would just like come in and like raid it and like i don't know like what would they do like they, we had nothing to destroy but one of the kids that went there like he kept on like looking behind his back and i was like what is he doing and then like i took one of them inside and i was like watch him like i don't like the looks of him <laughs> but nothing ever happened so see the funny thing was um how like at that time this was before you guys blew up how like someone stole it it was just so funny how like something like this small as you guys start out to something big it was just crazy yeah yeah i never would have thought well actually no i got like a weird feeling about that video like that's when i started making them look like professional mm -hmm. like I, I used to make them like we did what like <laughs> like those kind of titles and like wow. weird clickbait thumbnails like just for fun because i yeah. thought like maybe like it, it's maybe like a something. joke but yeah i thought like maybe like someone like might just find it and be like oh what is that like they, and it was a joke but uh i don't know i like i titled it good i put the nice thumbnail but i don't know i just thought i had a weird feeling about that one thing i do um thought was really cool on your part how you guys uh ended your old gulop vlogs was like how you guys ended on the thumbnail. I really liked that idea. That was really cool and how it like zoomed in a little bit. I just yeah. I, I'm like <laughs> I'm just I'm just surprised you guys didn't bring that back. Like just the coots. Yeah. I mean I didn't even think about that. Well we usually like I think the reason why I ended it like that in like the goo up vlogs one, which I think was like the Bob Evan files. That's mm -hmm. what it was titled. Yeah. I think we did that because like we took like i don't know why but we like just took pictures like i wanted to test my camera out mm -hmm. so like we just like took pictures outside and i was like man that's a cool picture like maybe i'll just like use that to end it yeah and i don't know it turned out i never really thought of it the video Thanks. video is weird and funny and just yeah just felt like just one it of those, was just those like, fun videos that I, just a regular yeah. like high school or middle schooler would do I'm just glad it's like it'll always show up like if someone just clicks oldest like sorts the videos by oldest first like mm -hmm. that's the one that comes up yeah. and i'm glad because it's it's just shows, shows like it. yeah it just shows like what we did <laughs> just like so weird <laughs> we're so weird <laughs> hey i mean i'm glad where you guys are right now i'm really proud of you guys hopefully you guys will get bigger i really can see you guys get really big soon let's hope for it i really do i do i really do wish like I, I, I would like to not go to college and just do YouTube, <laughs> but I know that's a big, big ask. What are you even I've going to college for specifically? Like, what are you majoring in? 
Uh, well, I, I applied to, well, I want to go to Arizona state in Phoenix. Um, cause I don't, I love that. It just fits me perfectly, but I want to study film. I want to oh, go as a film major. That explains a lot. Not yeah. going to lie. That, that, t- yeah. that'll be fun. Yeah. It has a good, they have a good film program and I love the campus. I visited it and I don't know. I didn't want to do business because business um, is kind of a lot. <laughs> Yeah, well, I didn't want to do that. Plus, like, I don't know. I just a lot of people go to Arizona State and just do business. Yeah. And I wanted like Something I want to different. separate myself somehow. Like, if you go to Arizona State and you're, you get a business degree, like, there's really no difference between you getting an office job at like this place or like this other place. Exactly. But like, if you get a film degree, like, and you think of some sort of good idea, like, then everything changes. So, but I also thought like you can start a business and not go to business school. Mm-hmm. You can't go to, it's a lot harder to go to like, try to make a film and you don't go to film school. So, yeah. um, one thing I already know about, but I forgot to ask a question. Um, and this is also to give the viewers some ideas. Um, how did you guys, uh, how did you figure out the name, the kooks? Like, how did you come up with it? <laughs> I don't, it wasn't me. I, I do, I can say that. I don't think it was me, but. I don't know. We were just like, because you guys said you were know. messing around on Google Translate. That was the thing. Yeah, I think we like wanted our name to like mean group, which it did. Mm-hmm. And then we we're just like looking through like all the translate names, and it was just like Somalian. And I was like, I didn't even know they like had like that was a language that even existed. <laughs> so I was like, let's click on that. Someone said that. And I don't it's know a really it catchy it. name. Yeah, and I was just like, Kooks, like that's cool, like. Like it ends with an X and like it means group, like it's perfect. Mm-hmm. So we just went with that. That that turned out really good name, to be honest. If I didn't pick that name, I wouldn't be here right now. So, <laughs> or we didn't pick that name because we would have never gotten found. So yeah, it's crazy. It's just on that the chances, like, <laughs> but um, what's your plans for future videos and? What are your future video ideas? Um, I guess the plan would be uh, continue to like really like do what I do, just get good at what I do, like just like vlog, I guess like vlog, sort of prank, just do interesting things. But I don't want to just film to film. Like, mm-hmm. I guess my plans would be like if I'm just gonna go out film, like don't just go to like the grocery store, like mm-hmm. go to. Go to like a petting zoo and film there because that's be funny. funnier. <laughs> yeah. Go to. So I guess it's just like. You know what you guys yeah. should do as a group? I can see you guys do really well. I don't know if there's one near you or not. I'm not sure. Uh, a breaking room where you just go in there. Yeah, I, I actually looked into that. There's like none. It's so weird. Like the only one went out of business. So seriously, <laughs> I was like, I want to do that. Yeah. Jeez. Maybe maybe want to open up sooner if I. I don't know. Speaking <laughs> of like a, of a breaking room, uh, hey AJ, I found I found something we could do if you ever come down to where I live. Mm-hmm. It's a uh, there's a haunted house that they say if you can actually go through to the very end, they'll pay you two thousand dollars. I'm not doing that haunted house. I know what you're talking about. I'm <laughs> yeah. I'm not signing a contract to do that. Heck no. It, no, that's in for that one's in Florida. The one you're thinking of. I, I'm, I'm still not doing it. <laughs> Why not? Um, that I also could be a good idea for. Yeah, for maybe like a haunted Halloween house video. or something. Yeah. But uh. Huh. Um. You're by talking about all this blogging stuff. I don't. I'm not particularly like that big into the subject that's why i haven't really said much uh to all of you as i don't know so all my all i want to know you know really is uh if you do end up getting big while you're in college are you planning to use your film skills for youtube or for a job which would um you? i'd rather use like the film skills to make my own show or a movie or something like that. Mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't want to just like make films for YouTube. Mm-hmm. I'd rather just like do what I do. 
continue whatever I'm doing at the time. Yeah. I, mean, you I don't know. I just... also can help with like with your skills that you are learning for what you do now. So that that also the the whole college experience could help you out for that as well. So you can have like a yeah. small side project. If you end up not having like a big thing for for when you actually complete your degree. Um I don't know if I'm sure or sweet. Um with this week's uh video I saw this on your Instagram, by the way. With this week's a uh, video not here and will be uploaded uh this week. How did you feel when the, when you saw that there was no audio? Um I was just uh, I I was just like, oh my god. Like I wasn't like mad, like I wasn't like throwing stuff. You're just frustrated. <laughs> I don't know. I we I, I we filmed like the whole thing. We went down to where we were filming, and we, we like went to this area. Like I knew exactly where I want to film, and then like we check, and I forget this cord. It's like the cord you plug from the mic on the camera into the camera. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, like I gotta text my mom to get it because it wasn't really far from where we were. And, like my mom brought it. And then I don't know, like we were filming, the levels looked okay, but we wouldn't have found out. Like it was all that cord. Like even if we would have brought earbuds, like it wouldn't have caught it. But I guess if we would have like tested it, like played it back on the camera, but I was just I was I was pretty I was pretty upset. I I I was just like I opened I opened it up and I dragged all the footage into like Premiere and I was like this has to be a glitch. Like, there's no way I didn't get any footage, dude. Or any how'd audio? How'd you fix it anyway? Did you like reshoot it or just? Oh, it's it's gone. Like, I just completely lost. I just deleted all of it. We're just started from a whole new video. Jeez. Yeah, it's not even wow. coming up. Um, yeah. darn man, that that must have really sucked. Yeah, dude, it was oh. good too. <laughs> what was it anyway to the viewers? Well, or, or it was um uh. It was for like the Travis Scott, you know, like we we filmed the prank. Um, What'd you guys for that. do for that anyway? Like specifically? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just like went up and just like I don't even know. Like it was it was. I, know, I just like said like I don't know. But we did like it was just like a simple like Travis Scott like oh you know I'm here like stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But and uh, before it was like supposed to start out as a film like me and Sam are throwing like this tennis ball <laughs> like. And we we're talking about something, and then like, like, hey, dude, you see like that new Travis Scott meal? And I'm like, yeah, that's stupid. And he's like, dude, don't say that. And I'm like, why? Like, he's not gonna hear me. Uh, and then, Sam, I like look over, like I turn my head, and like Sam hits me in the head with a tennis ball, and I'm like unconscious, and I wake up in like this cornfield, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, where am I? And I'm like all dressed out like what Travis Scott would wear. And he's like. And like Travis Scott like talks to me like from the clouds and he's like, like Danny, you need to get my Travis Scott meal. I'm like I don't know. It's like something like that. And that then I wake great. up and then oh Yeah, God. it was really good. It was it was it was funny. Like it was good. I mean we might uh, we might we might like do something. We didn't like use it, so we can like do it with something else now. Like, if I, we ever have to I use that so exact bad idea. Because that could have been one of your videos that got you very far. Yeah. Damn. I don't know, but I, I, I like to think like stuff happens for a, a reason. reason. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. like we picked kooks for a reason and now we're here where we are. So maybe it like, I don't know, it created the downfall of kooks, but mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever it happens, yeah. you can't really complain yeah. about it. You can't really get mad at something that you can't control. That so is true. I just bought a, bought a new mic, so I was just like, just move on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Also, I'm questioning. Um, did you print out that photo of Unis on us or? <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> printed you... that. Um, I was kind of yeah. like, I was like, why did you, why, why did you bring out a box of Unis on us and just kiss? I was like, okay, <laughs> 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 that's something. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to like, I don't know, see like the OG fans. Maybe he has it sitting next to him right now. Nah. <laughs> back I'm an OG picture. fan now. <laughs> um, <laughs> where can you see yourself in the next year or two? Um, next year. Well, a year from now, um, 
if the YouTube channel doesn't get a million subscribers by then, I will probably I will be in college, hopefully at Arizona State. Uh hopefully still doing the YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, like somehow finding a filmer down there or if under some circumstance, one of my friends comes with me and we get to film together down there. But uh, I hope to still do YouTube. I hope we're like at least double the size of what I am now. Mm-hmm. Which doesn't seem, I don't know. I hope I'm, I'm, I hope I'm a lot bigger than I am now. And in, in the future, videos. Do you want to bring your friends with, like, ever since the, the kooks means the group? Are you just going to keep your friend group, or are you slowly just going to go to yourself and do pranks, or you just want to have your friends uh, with YouTube forever? I would like to like have my friends with me. I know that's not realistic, but at least they all... try. I mean, if it does, like, the only person that like I would ask would be like Sam. Mm-hmm. That would be like n- none of the other kids like care about the youtube as much as me and sam do do you Uh, pay sam at all or just volunteer uh yeah i mean he's mostly volunteer he likes it which is good he's into it but i like to like think like maybe in two years like when the youtube credit yeah like in two years when the youtube is like huge i can go back and pay him you know Mm -hmm. because i don't have the money now obviously Mm mm-hmm did you guys sell out any of your merch at all, or like the? Oh, uh, we did merch? sell out the like. So, well, I used that fulfillment service, mm-hmm. so it was like it was unlimited. But I did like want to put a limit on it, and the blue one did reach the like the blue hoodie reached the limit. So, mm-hmm. damn. Mm-hmm. But that was a big surprise to wake up and see. Yeah, it was cool. But also, I plan to. Release merch when I hit thirty thousand subscribers. What are you gonna drop when you get to thirty k? Um, it's gonna be a hoodie, just one hoodie. Oh, oh! I thought you were gonna say it's a surprise. <laughs> it's just like a mystery box, of a, and it just has a hoodie in it. Um, one last question, and then I'll do the ending. Um, how does your parents? support you does your parents support you doing youtube or no uh yeah i think they support me i mean they obviously they don't like not support it Mm -hmm. but uh, i know my dad he uh he doesn't want the channel to like blow up like two million subscribers like Mm -hmm. right now like in the future he'd like to see that but like right now because he wants me to go to college (laughs) because he just doesn't understand how like youtube works and how you can make money and just like yeah make a just living one of those, it. just parents you know yeah that's, that's how my parents is like they don't know i do this but i say i make videos with friends and they're like okay yeah <laughs> they obviously like want the best for me and mm-hmm. they, they're there to like help me with a video if i needed it mm-hmm. that's, nice. that's really good um that's all my questions yeah. oh do, so, you have anything, uh, do you have any questions for us how yeah, about that do you have any questions what, what for us? Ask them? yes uh, one question Yes. What? Wh- why beanbag boys? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, here, I guess I'll explain it. Right, oh, so, boy. basically, what happened was, you know, the movie Good Boys, right? Uh, I've heard of it, but I've never watched it. It's it's a reference to that, and basically, the reason that it came up with was because we uh, we were trying to decide a name, so we threw a coin in the air and asked AJ's girlfriend. A name, and she came up with the big beanbag boys, and we just kind of stuck with it. And we're like, we're th- okay, this is us now. And it's spelled like the beanbag boys, like B O I apostrophe S. And like, and if you try to find anything exactly like that, it's like nothing exactly like that. I'm like, that's perfect. <laughs> and on yes. our social medias for the B for a bag, it's a 13. It's really cool. So I'm like, if I have to, like, if I, like, can't use the Beanbag Boys because of copyright in the future, if I ever get bigger, I'll probably just replace the B for bag and have it as a 13 if I have to. <laughs> Is there any other questions you have, uh, have for us, though? <laughs> um, I was going to say, where are you guys from? But I found that you guys said that. No, Well, no, uh, he's from Ohio. Yeah. I'm not. I'm said from you're Tennessee. From Tennessee. I am you, you're one year out of high school. No, I'm, not. I'm 21. You're 21. Okay, I thought you said. Okay, 
<laughs> no, I said I said I thought you were nineteen when I first heard. Oh, okay. <laughs> Your voice sounds so deep. On the, <laughs> yeah, everyone like, says that. I'm like, on <laughs> I mean, everyone says I sound like a thirteen year old, so I know the feeling. Trust me. How old <laughs> did you think I sounded like when you when you first joined? Um. Say like 16, 17. Yeah, I was about to say. Some people, I got like some people saying I sound like I'm 18 or 20. It's like, <laughs> how? <laughs> um, I am going to give you, wait one second. This is for promotion. I'm going give to give you 15 seconds to promote whatever you want. Um, wait, Right now? Sorry, wait, right now? Wait one second. I'll tell you when. Starting right now. Um, If you're listening to this, everyone go follow at Danny Kooks on Instagram and Twitter. And on Twitch, and subscribe to Kooks on YouTube. Is that all? And make sure make sure you get your hoodies at shopthekooks.com. Okay, that's all. Perfect. Oh, ooh, can uh, I like to ask one more question? What's yeah. all? What do you stream on Twitch? What do I stream? Yeah, what do you stream? Um, I I mean I stream. I usually I tell like the fans in the Discord like we all like decide on a game. And then I'll buy it, oh. and then I'll just stream it until I finish it. Right now, I'm going through The Last of Us, like the oh, remastered right. version. I... Oh, are you doing remastered? Oh, I thought you were going to say part two, but uh, no, re- the remaster version is really good. I did. I, did I, I played it once, and I'm doing the playthrough, and like doing playthroughs is so hard because I'm trying to make them like an hour long, and I never have time specifically for an hour. Doing podcasts is just hard enough because you have to set a time for yeah. the guest to be there. Yeah. That's why I've been trying so hard. I feel so bad if I take a lot of time out of people's time. Because I know people have lives. That's why I try to make it yeah. equal for everyone to do. So, oh, I was only asking because all I do is stream. That's the only reason. I was like, I was thinking, man, I need, I need more streaming buddies. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. But um, I mean, unless you want to play some games sometime, that's up to you. If you, well, what do you play? I play a little bit of everything. Yeah, same here. Same like, same as me. Yeah. Yes. So if it's a the game, only problem is like, I'll play it. Uh, the only problem with like streaming with other people is I really like, I I really struggle with like talking to people and then talking to chat. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't trust me. My my chat's a graveyard, so I I have all the time <laughs> in the world to sit there and talk. <laughs> um. Um. Yeah. No, I'm just trying to get back into streaming. If you didn't know, I used to stream daily on when I was, I think I was 14 when I started, and I had up to 90 followers on Twitch, and then a lot of bad stuff happened, and kind of, it kind of drew me away from streaming for a long time, and now I'm trying to get back into it, but it's like really difficult. Yeah. But um, I do really want to say thank you so much. I'm sorry for the rescheduling constantly. Brent has been working <laughs> constantly. Like, Brent, uh, having... yeah, my work, my work literally get dropped me down with a nine day work week. So literally, I have been doing nothing but working, going home, going to bed, wake up, go to work, go home, go to bed, and for nine days. But yeah, I so... re- I really do appreciate. <laughs> taking your time into joining us today you're welcome um enjoy this maybe we'll have you for another podcast one day yeah where it's not where it doesn't sound like we're interviewing yeah i just i I just like this was more of an interview like actual podcast like i wanted to (laughs) interview like like first so people know who you are and what you do and then if you ever want to come back, it will just be like normal topics that people like give us to talk to about you, you know, and yeah. to talk about with us all in general, not just you, you yeah. know. <laughs> but um, I say thank you again. Um, do you want to do the outro, Brent? All right, everyone. Uh, so this has been the Being Bag Boys podcast over here with our special guest, Danny. Uh, and... Uh, we are gonna have gonna have to go. It is currently 10 p.m. I need to get my sleep. So you all have a good night. Stay safe and try not to let life drive you crazy. Goodbye. And I'll talk to you guys next time. And thank you again, Danny, for coming along. And it was a really good time talking with you. You're welcome.